You know that sinking feeling when ChatGPT gives you some brilliant ideas, but then you realize it. You're gonna have to spend hours turning those into something you can actually use. What if I told you we could skip the entire manual process? Look, I know exactly what happens when you get those brilliant ideas from ChatGPT. You copy and paste it into a document, and then you spend the next two hours doing everything yourself. Meanwhile, you're watching other people move from idea to execution with ease, and you're not quite sure what you're missing. Here's what's really frustrating. The AI part is the easy part. It's everything after that eats up your time. And here's the thing no one's told you yet. The problem isn't your prompting skills, it's that you're using ChatGPT as a tool rather than an assistant. That's exactly what ChatGPT agents are designed to do. Most people are using ChatGPT the basic way. You ask, it answers, conversation over. But ChatGPT agents are like working with an actual assistant. They can complete entire workflows for you. We're talking about going from idea to deliverable in a single request. In this video, we're gonna talk about what ChatGPT agents are, why they're different, three practical tips on how to use them, and some real world examples so you can see them in action. So let's talk about what ChatGPT agents are. You're very familiar with ChatGPT as a chatbot, and it's a lot like having an assistant that doesn't have any tools available. Like if you called her up and asked her questions, that's about all ChatGPT can do right now. But a ChatGPT agent, ah, that's like having an assistant with the tools who can browse the web, fill out forms, have access to your Google Calendar, your Gmail, and actually be able to search all the different files you have on your Google Drive. Imagine having an assistant that can do all those things for you you. That's what it's like working with ChatGPT agent. If you're logged into ChatGPT, just go to the ask anything bar and click the plus button on the left hand side. You'll notice there's an agent mode feature right there. Go ahead and click on it. This is where you can actually activate your agent, but that's not it. Like I said, agent is not just an assistant without tools. And while it can access a web browser without being asked, you can actually give it sources. So once the agent mode is selected, you actually have this new tab that comes up called sources. Let's go ahead and click on it. And you can see all these different hubs or tools that it has access to, like Box, Canva, Dropbox, uh, GitHub, Gmail, and many more. So let me give you three practical tips on how to get the most out of ChatGPT agents. The first tip is giving it clear SOPs or what we call standard operating procedures. You can go ahead and give it a vague objective if you wanted to. You could be like, plan my whole vacation, ChatGPT, and it would do its darn best at planning your vacation based on some of the things it knows about you already. But it does much better if you actually give it clear step-by-step -step instructions. So we might come into ChatGPT turn on agent mode and give it clear instructions. Like instead of saying, go research my competitors, you might write something like, go to these five competitor websites, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Sonic Drive-In, Jack in the Box, and extract their pricing features and customer testimonials. Using this data, create a comparison spreadsheet with the data listed in columns. When the table is complete, highlight the gaps in their offerings. Now I'm gonna get this started and let ChatGPT agent get to work on this. You can see that it takes a while in order for it to complete its thinking. You've assigned a project, now you need to step away and let it work for a little bit. Now, this competitor research is, might not be the exact process you use, but you have to ask yourself, what's the process you're currently using? Maybe take some of the things that you're currently doing and delegate it to your new ChatGPT agent. And here you can see the output of that one agent. You could see that it made a spreadsheet with a side-by-side -side comparison of all these fast food restaurants with sample pricing and menu, key features, testimonials. It actually went and did a gap analysis too. Before, you would have had to have done a few of those different steps. Now ChatGPT can take on more than just the back and forth you were used to before. I've got two more practical tips to share, one of them being about a major security issue you're gonna to wanna to be aware of, but before we get to that in the examples, I need to tell you about the AI Business Society. You'll wanna check out this society because, let's be honest, there is an ocean of information when it comes to AI. There's news, there's tools, there is hype all over the place, and it kinda of leaves you wondering, what should I be working on next? That's where the AI Business Society comes in. Because not only does it give you expert resources from the same kind of speakers we have at conferences, but it actually gives you access to a community that's curating the things that you need to know when you need to know it. Things that are actually useful for you as a marketer or a business owner now. 
So you're gonna to wanna to check it out. Check out the link in the description below. If you don't like it, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So if it's not a good fit, you can move on. So tip two, let's talk about security. Because working with an agent is a lot like working with a virtual assistant that's on the other side of the world somewhere. It's not that you don't trust them, but you kinda of need to give them a narrow scope so that in case they go off the wall, they're not doing it in your accounts. When it comes to working with ChatGPT agents, you're gonna to wanna to limit the access a little bit. Be careful giving it financial data, customer information, or access to logins to sensitive accounts. Things like your social media accounts. You're gonna to wanna to limit the access to give it only the information it needs when it needs it. Access to the tools only when it needs it. One of the things I do is give it limited access to accounts where it can only do the specific function or the feature of that account. For example, I give it access to my CRM because it has access to be able to post things for me on social, but that's the only thing it can do. It has its own unique login, it logs in, does the post, and everything's ready to go. Now tip number three, this is where agents start to become really powerful. Because if you're already in the automation game and you got some workflows going in your email builder, you got some workflows going with your social media tools, agents can now be a part of that. You might have to do some integrating with these tools, but there's actually a quick hack around kicking off other automations with agents. Now this is a little bit more advanced, but you can actually have agents fill out web forms. Yes, web forms. If you've worked with any kind of integration tools like Zapier or automation tools like HubSpot, you know that web forms are kind of the secret ingredient to kicking off a lot of automated workflows. ChatGPT can now kick them off for you by filling them out itself. If it has access to the URL where the web form is, it can take whatever research it's done, whatever contacts it's found, or whatever kind of data you've given it in order to get it the next step in the sequence. It may just be to get data over into HubSpot. It may be to get a new email subscriber that it found into your automated email sequence, whatever it might be. Using forms is the missing link that connects ChatGPT agents to the rest of your business workflows. Before we go to the three examples, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe so that you can get more awesome AI videos like this one. So let's move on to those three examples. In this first example, I wanna give a practical demonstration of how ChatGPT agents can do research for you, find new prospects for a B2B business, and then create the whole outreach campaign customized and ready for you to send. Let's break it down. Remember to get started, I'm gonna hit plus and turn on agent mode. I'm then gonna paste in a prompt that I had pre-written. It says, I want you to research the Social Media Marketing World's website, create a list of all the event sponsors, and then search for each company's head of marketing or CMO. Next, create a spreadsheet listing the name, job title, and LinkedIn profile URL of each company's head of marketing or CMO. The final step is to create a canvas with an outreach message to each of those people to sponsor a new event about AI marketing in Anaheim, California. I'm gonna go ahead and click start and ChatGPT agent is going to get started on that task. You can see how I broke it down by breaking it into multiple sections as if I was going to do it myself. That's the trick with working with agents. If you were gonna go off and do this task, how would you break it down into step-by-step -step instructions? ChatGPT can give you responses, but ChatGPT agent can get done multiple steps of your workflow. That is the power of using ChatGPT agent. In the second example, I'm gonna show you how to turn one long form piece of content into a whole week's worth of content for your content calendar. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Again, I'm in ChatGPT with agent mode turned on and I'm gonna copy and paste a prompt in here that says you are an AI assistant that takes a podcast transcript and transforms it into multiple canvases of content. Your job is to process the transcript and create four separate canvases with the following outputs. Canvas one, show notes and then it goes through and spells out the show notes. Canvas two, a blog post, and then it gives details about the blog post. Canvas three, LinkedIn post, gives details about the LinkedIn post, and then Canvas four, Twitter and X content. I'm gonna go ahead and hit go. Now the ChatGPT agent is getting to work and you can go grab a cup of coffee. No need to sit there and babysit it. No need to sit there and hold it by the hand and walk it through your step-by-step -step process because you've already given the process, you've already defined the outputs, and now it's going to go to work executing this project for you. Let's take a look at what it did. You can see here in Canvas 1, we have show notes with the podcast overview, resources mentioned, major discussion points in a timestamp format. It's got blog posts already styled and written to the way I want it to be written. 
Canvas 3 has my LinkedIn post. Canvas 4 has my X Twitter content breakdown with a thread in and of itself. And while I only had four examples here, you can create more. You can create 10 different pieces of content you might want out of a blog post or a podcast transcript or a webinar transcript. Whatever your long form content is, you can have an agent turn it into a waterfall of micro content for you ready to plug into your content calendar. Now, example three is kind of the back end of example two, because what happens when you have all this wonderful content created? I know usually it goes into a doc somewhere and there is where it dies. But we need to get it scheduled using our social media tools out on all these different social media platforms. And that's where ChatGPT AG can come in again. I trained mine to log into my account and actually schedule the post for me. A few things to keep in mind is that you want to create a separate account, remember that security problem, so that it only has access to the parts of the account that it needs access to in order to schedule it. You can have all the content written by one agent and then have another agent go and schedule it all for you. When you're using this tech, use it wisely, use it cautiously even, as you're trying to experiment and expand it in what it can do for your company. But here's what I know for sure. This kind of technology is going to be a default way that we do work in the future. While it's rudimentary now, this is going to define a lot of the future of work when it comes to working with AI and getting our jobs done. These are just the basics of what ChatGPT agents can do. In the next video, I wanna show you how to use the integrations in ChatGPT in order to supercharge these very agents. 